Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve homogeneous second order linear differential equations when one solution is given to us and we are asked to find the other solution and the general solution. So let's start. What if y1x and y2x are any two linearly independent solutions of a given homogeneous differential equation y2 dash plus px y dash plus qx y is equal to 0. The question is, if one solution y1x is known to us, can we find the other solution y2x? Yes, we can. For that, we assume y2x is equal to vx times y1x, where vx is a function of x. Remember guys, vx is not a constant. We have not taken a constant here. Why? Because the moment vx is a constant, y2 and y1 will become dependent on each other. Then we use the formula vx is equal to integral 1 upon y1 square e to the power minus px dx. y1 would be given to us. p we will find from the differential equation. So using this formula we can find v. Once we know v, we can find y2. Let's do some examples. In the first example, we are asked to find y2 and the general solution of y2 dash minus y is equal to 0. We are given y1 is equal to e to the power x. Now, our differential equation has no y dash term, which means px is 0. We start by y2 is equal to vx y1. You know y1 is e to the power x. Now, we need to find vx. For that, we come to the formula vx is equal to integral 1 upon y1 square e to the power minus px dx. Substitute y1 and p and integrate. We will get vx as minus e to the power minus 2x upon 2. As y2 was vx e to the power x, substitute v value. We get y2 as minus e to the power minus x upon 2. As you know, general solution is y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Substitute y1 which was known to us. y2 you've just found. You will get y is equal to c1 e to the power x minus c2 e to the power minus x upon 2. Now you can leave it as this. But if you want a compact form, you can take minus c2 upon 2 as some other constant c3. And then y will become c1 e to the power x plus c3 e to the power minus x. So we have found the second solution y2 given y1 and we have also found the general solution. Come to the second example. Here we are asked to verify that y1 is equal to x square is one solution of x square y2 dashes plus x y dash minus 4y is equal to 0. We are asked to find y2 and then the general solution. Now, to verify that y1 is a solution, we'll first find its derivatives. y1 dash and y2 dashes. y1 dash is 2x, y1 2 dashes is 2. Substitute y1, y1 dash, y1 2 dashes in your given differential equation in the left hand side. You will see all the terms cancel and you get a 0, which tells us that y1 is equal to x square is one of the solutions. Now, to find y2, we need to find vx. Let's first write our differential equation in the form y2 dash plus px y dash plus qx y is equal to 0. You remember, in the standard form, the coefficient of y2 dashes should be 1. So, for that, we need to divide the whole differential equation by x square. Now, when you do that, you see that your px comes out to be 1 by x. Substitute y1 as x square in the formula, p as 1 by x. Integrate, you will get vx as minus x to the power minus 4 upon 4. y2 becomes vx into y1, which was x square. When you substitute vx, you get y2 as minus x to the power minus 2 by 4. General solution becomes y is equal to c1 x square minus c2 x to the power minus 2 upon 4. You can write minus c2 upon 4 as c3 and the general solution will be y is equal to c1x square plus c3x to the power minus 2. In the third example, we have to again find y2 
and the general solution of the Legendre's differential equation 1 minus x square y2 dash minus 2xy dash plus 2y is equal to 0 where we are given y1 is equal to x. Here, this differential equation is a particular case of the Legendre's differential equation. Now, again you see that the coefficient of y2 dashes is not 1. For that, we'll divide the whole differential equation by 1 minus x square. And that will give me my p as minus 2x upon 1 minus x square. Find vx using the formula. Substitute y1, substitute p, and we will get 1 upon x square e to the power minus log 1 minus x square dx. Take this minus as a power of 1 minus x square. Your exponential and log will be gone. You will be left with integral 1 upon x square 1 minus x square dx. To simplify the integration process, I've added minus x square and x square in your numerator and then divided the terms. We get integral 1 upon x square plus 1 upon 1 minus x square dx. The integral comes out to be minus 1 by x plus half log of 1 plus x minus half log of 1 minus x. Then my y2 after substituting vx from here becomes minus 1 plus x by 2 log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. And hence the general solution is y is equal to c1x plus c2 minus 1 plus x by 2 log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. We saw the Legendre's differential equation. In the next question, we are given a Bessel's equation, a particular case of that. So here at the fourth example, we have to find y2 and the general solution for x square y2 dashes plus x y dash plus x square minus 1 by 4 y is equal to 0. We have y1 as x to the power minus half sin x as the known solution. Here they have also given us that this solution holds for all positive values of x. So only those intervals we will take. Now the differential equation is not in the general form so we'll divide by x square all over which makes my coefficient of y2 as 1. px becomes 1 by x. Use the formula for vx, substitute y1, p. After integration we get v as minus cortex. y2 will be vx y1. We've substituted y1 here and after substituting Vx, we get Y2 as minus X to the power minus half cos X. So we have found Y2. Now the general solution is Y is equal to C1X to the power minus half sin X minus C2X to the power minus half cos X. You can leave it as it is or you can take minus C2 as C3 and write the general solution as this. In the last example, we have to again find Y2 and the general solution of Y2 dash minus x upon x minus 1 y dash plus 1 upon x minus y is equal to 0 given y1 is equal to x. So here already differential equation is in the standard form. We will find vx using the formula substitute y1 is equal to x and p is equal to minus x upon x minus 1. We will add and subtract 1 in the numerator to simplify the integration. And this will give us Vx as e to the power x upon x. Substitute Vx in y2. This gives us y2 is e to the power x. So the solution becomes y is equal to c1x plus c2 e to the power x. Thank you for watching. We will be doing homogeneous differential equations of second order with constant coefficients in our next video. For all other courses, you can check my website www.profkritivajpayee.com.